Unraveling slang. The meaning of I'm spent. Hello, English explorers. Today we're going to dive into a commonly used phrase in English that might have left some of you scratching your heads. I'm spent. It's a simple phrase, but it packs a lot of meaning and can be quite useful in everyday conversation. So if you're ready to add another piece to your English language puzzle, let's get started. First things first, let's break down the phrase, I'm spent. It sounds like it has something to do with money, doesn't it? But in this context, it's not about financial transactions at all. When someone says they're spent, they're actually using a metaphor. It means that they are completely exhausted, either physically or emotionally. Just like a bank account can be depleted of money, a person can be spent of their energy or emotional capacity. The origin of this phrase is quite interesting. It dates back to when spend was used in a broader sense for the use of any resource, not just money. Over time, it became a colloquial way to describe the state of being out of energy. It's similar to saying, I'm drained, or I'm out of steam, painting a vivid picture of how someone feels. Now let's see how to use I'm spent in everyday conversation. You might say this after a long day of work, an intense workout, or an emotionally taxing event. For example, after the marathon, I could barely speak. I just looked at my friends and said, I'm spent. Following the week-long conference, with back-to-back -back meetings and workshops, I was totally spent. Remember, it's a casual phrase, so it's best used in informal situations. In different English-speaking countries, this phrase can be very common, and it's universally understood. However, in professional or formal contexts, you might choose to say, I'm exhausted, or I'm very tired, instead, to maintain a formal tone. And there you have it. You now understand what it means when someone says, I'm spent. It's a handy phrase to express a state of exhaustion in a colloquial way. Try using it next time you're feeling tired and want to express it in a more colorful manner. Until our next linguistic adventure, keep practicing, and never hesitate to use new expressions. Happy learning, and I hope this video has energized your English skills.